Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your Minecraft launcher is not working or won't install from the Microsoft Store. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would suggest doing would be to open up the search menu, type in WS Reset, go ahead and open that up, should be the best match. And then attempt to sign back into the store, and then hopefully your issue has been resolved. You also want to take a look at your date and time settings as well. Make sure that the correct date and time settings in the bottom right corner of your taskbar. If they are not, you may want to right-click on it and select Adjust Date and Time. On the right side, scroll down underneath Additional Settings, and you want to select the Sync Now button. Give that a moment. And then hopefully at this point, you should be good to go. You should be all synced up. And that's something else I'd recommend taking a look at. And now you also want to open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt, right-click on that, and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And then into this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config, followed by a space, forward slash flush DNS, Flash DNS, should all be one word, attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard, should come back with Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, once again, exactly as you see it on my screen, and hit enter. We'll come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, this point of issue has been resolved, and you should be able to install Minecraft successfully. So hopefully, this was a pretty straightforward process. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.